Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about normal goods versus inferior goods. Given good versus inferior goods. We will also see derivation of demand curve in case of normal goods and given goods. What do you mean by normal goods? In case of normal goods, there is a direct relationship between income and demand. When income increase, demand also increase. When income fall, demand also fall. For example, you increase demand of designer cloth, you increase demand of automobiles when your income increase. That's why there is positive income elasticity in case of normal goods. In case of normal goods, when income increase, demand curve shift rightward. Here you can see when income increase, then our demand curve shift rightward from DD to DD1. But in case of inferior goods, there is an inverse relationship between income and demand. That means income increase, demand fall, income fall, demand increase. There is no specific type of inferior goods. Goods are inferior for you or not. It's all depend on your level of income. For example, when my income was very low, I used to purchase a non-branded product. But as my income increased, I started buying a branded product. Now, non-branded product seems inferior to me. So, goods are inferior for you or not. It's all depend on your level of income. There is no specific type of inferior goods. For example, when your income is low, you used to go by bus or train. But when your income increased, you purchase your own car. Similar, when your income was very low used to buy non branded product but when your income increase you started buying a branded product so when your income increase you decrease demand of a non branded product that's why there is inverse relationship between income and demand so in case of inferior goods income elasticity or demand is negative and demand curve shift leftward when income increase in case of inferior goods here you can see when income increase demand curve shift leftward now we are going to talk about given goods. Given goods are specific type of inferior goods. Given goods are exception to law of demand. But why? According to law of demand, there is inverse relationship between price and demand. But according to given goods, so there is a direct relationship between price and demand. When price increase, demand also increase. When price fall, demand also fall. Concept of given goods was given by Sir Robert when he saw low wage earner, their main diet was bread. They ended up buying more bread when price of bread increased. Reason behind is that now they left very few income to buy expensive goods like meat. That's why they start increasing demand of bread when price of bread increased. So there is a direct relationship between price and demand. When price of bread fall, they reduce demand of bread because now they have enough of money to buy expensive goods like a meat so they start increasing demand of meat but reduce demand of bread as price reduce so there is direct relationship between demand and price according to given goods now we will see given goods versus inferior goods given goods violate law of demand According to law of demand, there is inverse relationship between price and demand. But according to Giffen Goods, there is a direct relationship between price and demand. That's why Giffen Goods violate law of demand. But inferior goods follow law of demand. All given goods are inferior goods, but all inferior goods are not given goods. Given goods are specific type of inferior goods. In case of given goods, a negative income effect is stronger as compared to substitution effect. But in case of inferior goods, a substitution effect is stronger than a negative income effect. There is no close substitution in case of given goods, but there is close substitution in case of inferior goods. So, consumer can easily shift when their income increase. Now, we are going to talk about derivation of uh, demand curve for normal uh, goods. Here, we have two diagrams. Both are connected with each other. On x-axis, quantities of x, price of x. Quantities of X, quantities of Y, initial budget line AB, initial indifference curve IC, initial consumer equilibrium point is E, initial price is OP, initial quantities of X is OQ and X is our normal good, same quantities we will show here OQ. 
Now suppose the price of x fall. As price of x fall, our budget line rotate outward, and this is our new indifference curve and new consumer equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, you can see consumer is buying more quantities of x because x is normal good. When price of x fall, we increase the quantities of x goods. Same quantities we will show here. Here you can see when price of X fall from P to P1, we increase the quantities from Q to Q1. Here we have one point, here we have one point. When we join these point, it will be called, it means the DD will be called demand curve in case of normal goods. Now we will see derivation of demand curve in case of given goods. Now our X is given goods. In case of given goods, as price increase, demand also increase. But when price fall, demand also fall. Initial budget line, initial indifference curve, initial consumer equilibrium point, initial price, initial quantities of X good, same quantity we will show here. Now suppose price of X good fall, price of given goods fall. As price of uh, given goods fall, or you can say that price of X goods fall, our budget line rotate outward. This is our new budget line. This is new indifference curve. This is new consumer equilibrium point. At this equilibrium point, consumer reduce quantities of X from Q to Q1 because X is given good. In case of given goods, when price fall, demand also fall. That's why consumer reduce demand from Q to Q1. Same quantities we will show here. Here you can see when price fall from P to P1, demand also reduce. Here is one point, here is one point. When we join this point, this DD will be called demand curve in case of given goods. So this is all about today's video. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye, take care.